Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas. In this video, we are going to be putting a new spin on an old toy. I made this top using several pieces of acrylic that were circle cut with a center hole in them, attaching them together with a quarter inch carriage bolt. The normal way that you spin a top is to take a stick and hold it in place, wrap a rope around it, and pull it. The stick's necessary because without it, you would pull your top across the room and it'd never spin free. The problem with that is the friction that builds up with the stick. Other methods of spinning tops wrap the string around the outside and then you throw it. That's more of an art form. For this method, I'm using regular dental floss. It has a flat surface to it and it's really strong, so it allows you to get a good pull. You can use regular rope or string, but flat straps tend to work a little bit better. To do this, you need to take your dental floss or rope, pull it out, double it over so that it splits perfectly in half, and you take the looped in and start to wrap it around the shaft. As you tighten it down and continually wrap the rope in, you're going to end up with two handles at the end. You want to stop enough where you can grab a hold of them. By securely grabbing the rope and pulling it in opposite direction, you get a super fast spin. This small top has reached speeds over 3000 RPM and a smaller version has reached speeds in excess of 5000 RPM. This larger one, while it doesn't spin as fast, stores a lot of energy in it. This one made out of two parabolic mirrors and a piece of acrylic, pretty much anything round is going to spin if it's centered properly, had spun for over 12 and a half minutes on this glass mirror. You can do things like take a steel rod with a neodymium ball magnet and add several steel balls down the chain, attach your top to it, pull it, and it'll stay in a pretty good spin. If you try to spin this by hand, it will wobble all over the place. You could take a very heavy object and wrap two ropes around it, attach it to cars, and pull it in opposite directions. I don't know if I do that. It might be a little dangerous, but it probably would work. This is the most efficient way that I've found to spin a top. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching, and enjoy our videos. God.